and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Saab al -Fet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of appreciation from Chairman of Shura Councils, the Speaker of Representatives Councils and Chairman of National Assemblies in the GCC on the convening of their 10th Legislative Councils meeting held today in Bahrain. The Council's Chairman and Speakers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the good reception and hospitality. They also praised the organization of the meeting, wishing His Majesty the King and Bahrain further success and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today, Chairman of Shura Councils, Speakers of Representatives Councils, and Chairman of National Assemblies in the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC countries, as well as the Secretary General of the GCC. The visit comes on the sideline of the 10th meeting of the GCC Legislative Councils. The audience conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC, and their wishes for Bahrain of further prosperity and success. His Majesty the King highlighted the role of the Legislative Councils in reinforcing the march of the GCC's joint action and strengthening brotherly ties and cooperation between the countries of the GCC. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts exerted by the members of the Legislative Councils in uniting the Gulf and defending its issues, as well as their role in strengthening cooperation and coordination with other Arab Legislative Councils as to defend Arab and Islamic issues. His Majesty welcomed the guests and requested them to deliver His Majesty's greetings to their high the leaders of the GCC, as well as His Majesty's wishes of further development and prosperity to the GCC countries and their people. His Majesty the King wished the Legislative Council success in their meeting as to achieve the best interests of the GCC countries and their people. His Majesty also commended the achievements of these councils in political, economic, social and cultural fields. For their part, Chairman of the Shura Council, Speakers of Representatives Councils and Chairman of National Assemblies expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty. Majesty the King for the reception and for the measures taken to help aid the success of the meeting and highlighted Bahrain's role in reinforcing the developing and march of the GCC. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict No. 60 for this year, approving the reports issued by the National Examinations Directorate at the Education and Training Quality Authority on the results of the 2016 National Examinations for the 12th and 6th grades. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from the Chairman of Shura Councils, the Council of Representative Speakers, and the Chairman of the National Assemblies of the Gulf Corporation Council of the GCC countries on the convening of their 10th meeting today held in Bahrain. The Council Chairman and Speakers expressed their thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister for the good reception and wish the Kingdom and its people progress and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Qadabiyah Palace the Qatari Shura Council Chairman Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifi, who conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings of the Qatari Emir, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his wishes of further progress to the Kingdom of Bahrain under its wise leadership. His Royal Highness hailed the deep rooted historic ties between Bahrain and Qatar and the joint cooperation between the two countries in the areas of growth and development. He also touched on the developments of a number of issues on the regional and international level. His Royal Highness requested the Qatari Shura Chairman to convey his greetings to His Highness, the Emir of Qatar and His Highness, the Father Emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani and the person representative of the Emir of Qatar, His Highness, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani and Prime Minister, Interior Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani and wish the state of Qatar further progress under its wise leadership. Shura Chairman of that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister represents a unique model of leadership and wisdom and expressed his pride in his leading role of supporting the Bahraini Qatari relations and elevating the course of bilateral cooperation to new heights. Gulf Cooperation Council member states are always keen to enhance coordination in all fields. The 10th GCC Legislative Council's meeting was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain to further bolster joint parliamentarian efforts among the Council's members. The heads of GCC parliaments discussed the annual report of the previous session and also discussed the report on the joint Arabian Gulf work submitted from the GCC General Secretariat. The officials also discussed the memorandums of the General Secretariat regarding topics of mutual concern, the GCC Parliamentary Committee related to boosting the GCC parliamentary ties, and the General Secretariat's memorandum on the Joint Gulf Informatics Network regarding the threats of terrorism and terrorist organizations. Every GCC meeting that happens, it's one step closer to achieving the ultimate goal of becoming a united front against the external uh, influences that we have these days, especially in the region. Every time the uh, parliaments meet, it's one step closer to enhancing the cooperation between each other. Today what we have is the laws. Uh, every single country has their own laws, but we have common laws. And these are very important to be united. Uh, once we have all the common laws in the GCC as one, it's very easy to have a united GCC in the future. The meeting also highlighted the importance of further bolstering cooperation and maintain security and stability of the GCC countries. It stressed the crucial role of the GCC legislative branches in supporting efforts to preserve gains and achievements, bolster the democratic and development march, and enhance combat preparedness to confront potential challenges and threats. It's uh, part of the ongoing process of uh, achieving greater integration between the GCC countries. Um, they have been uh, working together. This is, as you have noticed, this is the 10th meeting, uh, which means that there have been a lot of uh, progress uh, going on. Uh, it's basically uh, this 10th meeting comes to build on the previous achievements and uh, move forward to achieve even greater integration. Uh, the more we uh, get in touch, the more we work together, the better results we get. Um, uh, this meeting is, is part of the process, as I mentioned, of integrating uh, uh, even greater uh, during the coming years. Uh, the challenges that uh, faces this region are uh, getting, uh, are basically requires us to work uh, together in, in a more closer and uh, uh, faster pace, which hopefully this meeting will achieve that. The 10th GCC Legislative Council's meeting is held to strengthen the level of cooperation and maintain security and stability of the Gulf countries. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I am Hamid Youssef. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from Chairman of Shura Council, Speakers of Council of Representatives and Chairman of the National Assemblies of the Gulf Corporation Council countries on the convening of their 10th meeting held in the Kingdom today. The Council's Chairman and Speakers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the good reception and hospitality, wishing the Kingdom further development and prosperity. Leading health experts from the GCC convened in Bahrain today for a scientific meeting on clinical research. The symposium is collaboratively organized by the National Health Regulatory Authority and the Arabian Gulf University. More details in this report with Mohamed Shaban. The second symposium on clinical research kick-started its activities at the Arabian Gulf University today. The symposium brings together leading figures in healthcare and clinical research from all over the region. Officials say the meeting is of utmost importance. It's very important actually because you know the Gulf states now actually moving you know in the health you know services actually to go into maybe to the health industry and then that's actually the most important thing is to have some kind of research to develop the drug to develop any kind of, of research and science in the world and that's actually need you know a lot of regulation because you know the regulation is going to be abused and this is actually is not going to attract you know uh, serious uh, you know partners in this kind this kind of field so I think our regulation is very important and if we actually be able to make one regulation for the whole uh, Jesus countries. The gathering is meant to set standards for the practice of clinical research within the GCC countries and unite our efforts in the name of medical and clinical excellence. We are very pleased to host the second scientific meeting for regulating clinical trials in Bahrain in cooperation with the uh, Arabian Gulf University. Uh, this meeting uh, is very special to us because it's not only going to talk about capacity building for the ethics uh, research committees that are in the hospitals, but the, uh, it hosts a very big uh, GCC meeting. We have all our colleagues and partners from uh, the six GCC countries, and we will be discussing uh, um, uh, putting a unified uh, regulation, GCC regulation for regulating clinical trials. There is a, a proposal, a Bahraini Saudi proposal for that, and I hope that it will be adopted and taken up to the ministers to adopt it as a guideline for all the countries. The ultimate goal of the conference is to come up with a unifying document that would lead the way for a united clinical research protocol in the health industries of the region. And the GCC collaboration continues in all fields, and today in the field of medical research, as we aspire to set the rules and regulations for the betterment of the field in our countries. For Bahrain International, this is Mohamed Shaban. The Minister of Interior and Commander of the Joint Security Exercise Arabian Gulf Security 1, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received members of the Supreme Authority of the Exercise in the presence of the Chief of Public Security and Chief of the Exercises Control Authority, Major General Tarak bin Hassan Al Hassan. Sheikh Rashid hailed the results of the exercise, noting that this remarkable security achievement represents all Gulf Cooperation Council countries and stems from the vision and sincere directives of their leaders. He also stated that the exercise the success is a result of the leader's support. The Minister of Interior affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's attendance of the exercise's conclusion was a pride to all the participating security forces and a strong motivation to continue and enhance the security cooperation march. He added that the Interior Minister's follow-up of the exercise's stages reflects their keen interest in it. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the members' work teams and all for those who participated and the success of the exercise. The members of the Supreme Authority expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his efforts in the success of the exercise. Under the patronage of the Minister of Electricity and Water Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, the 6th Gulf Wellbeing Conference and Exhibition was inaugurated today in the presence of a number of CEOs, senior officials and specialists, over 200 participants from inside and outside of the Kingdom and 16 exhibitors. Dr. Mirza affirmed the importance of enhancing productivity in all sectors and that this event comes at a time where many tools and scientific ways have emerged and contributed in raising the level of productivity 
which has reflected positively on the quality of performance. He also stated that while being aims to reduce absence from work due to illness, he also said that this concept goes beyond the concept of de decade preve disease prevention, which is achieved by balancing between physical health, mental health and social and occupational health for individuals to be effective at work. The conference CELTA lasts for two days, organized by the Bahraini Occupational Health Physicians Associations and Origin Consulting Group. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, advisor for His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Bahrain, the Smart Hub, Gateway for Global and GCC Investment and Industries, closed today. El Dana Ferguson Forum brought together global, local, and Gulf business people, bankers, and investors with their peers of government organizations, private, and institutional investors. The, seven, the event promotes Bahrain as a business friendly industrial environment to encourage industrial investors and entrepreneurs to set up viable industrial projects in Bahrain. The thrust of the kingdom's industrial policy is on creating and enabling an environment with maximum support and minimum intervention, with the private sector playing a key role as a driver of the economy. Bahrain has been ranked highly by several international organizations and has a reputation for offering attractive industrial opportunities to local and international investors. This coupled with an efficient banking and communication system, absence of taxation and exchange controls and a friendly society makes Bahrain an ideal place to invest in and do business in. We are showing them that Bahrain is the pearl of the region. It is the cradle of, uh, well, I won't say humanity in that respect, but there's so much history here and it has always been the axis, the hub, the gateway for different cultures. It's been the center of different trade routes, the axis of international trade, of culture. It's a very, very open, open and open-minded and business-friendly society. And I think also the two C's clearly, clearly represent how different cultures, how different trade have come together and met in Bahrain and at the same time have emerged out of Bahrain. So it's showing the world, maybe a small island, but hey, wow, don't underestimate us. We've got lots to offer. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,187.64 points, marking an increase of 3.22 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 64% of total shares. 40 transactions, including 1,382,258 shares, worth 275,729 Bahraini dinars. 